Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Chuck. You might notice a couple extra things on our set today. Uh, we've got a little trophy there that we're going to talk about in a bit. Um, Brandon McAdams, our Vice President of Marketing, is joining us. Well, let's uh, get things started the right way with a nice sip of a what good drink of coffee. What are today? <clears throat> so this is Feels Like Carolina. It is a, Isn't that a song? It, I think it might be. Um, but this is a single origin. Uh, it's a Peruvian bean roasted here in Raleigh by Sir Walter Coffee. So I was able to pick this up downtown this weekend, and uh, Tasty. it's a good one. It's a good one. Brandon, you said it reminds you of uh, one of our company values? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think Chuck was saying how it had a bold flavor. Yes. And one of our values is be bold. Be bold. Right. So it, even uh, we're living that through our coffee. <laughs> and I'm sharing generously. Yes. Ah, you are. Yes, thank you. You <laughs> brewed it. I saw you brewing it, so thank you. So speaking of sharing, Chuck, we just had a big event. We did. And we don't talk a whole lot about this leading up to it, right? Um, but we like to celebrate after the fact because we, we did some good things in the community. We do. You know, having uh, we're embedded in the Triangle community, and uh, you know, having a positive impact on that community is a part of what we're trying to do. Not just helping improve the lives of our members, but also the community with, with which we live in. And so. On May 23rd, we had our fourth annual Power of Sharing event at the Crabtree Marriott. And that's an event where we and some partners of ours showcase, showcase some of the amazing work that nonprofits in the Triangle are doing. And it's a pretty, uh, pretty amazing event. And so we come together with a number of other companies, business partners of ours, and award grants to a number of nonprofits at that event. And that night, Collectively, we awarded $1.5 million to 13 nonprofits. And that money will go to help them uh, further their work here in the, here in the Triangle community. So that's, uh, that's pretty special, and that event keeps growing every year. We also recognize Pam Cole, who's executive director of the uh, Susan G. Komen North Carolina Triangle to the Coast affiliate with a Lifetime Achievement Award uh, for the work she's done uh, here in North Carolina with Komen and fighting breast cancer. So it's uh, it was a pretty cool night to see her get that award. UNC TV also streamed the event and they're gonna be doing a special later this year about that event and about the nonprofits that were showcased at that event. So we're pretty excited about that. We don't yet know the date on which that will air and then as we, there will be a fifth annual one next year, and we intend to engage members in helping us pick at least one nonprofit uh, that we'll, that COSA will make a grant to as part of their program. Part of the, you know, we don't do these things for recognition, but uh, a week or two ago, we were uh, received a corporate philanthropy award from Triangle Business Journal, one of a dozen or so companies that were recognized by TBJ for their local philanthropic efforts. And so that's uh, a pretty cool recognition for the work that we're doing uh, in the community. Uh, and, and it recognizes you know, some of the things that we do. One of the things we announced earlier is we're uh, donating $100,000 to both uh, Habitat Wake and Durham Habitat to build a house in each of those counties for Habitat. And so that's pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, we do a lot in the financial education space. We provided a financial education program to every high school in Wake County. And so it's just many, many things we continue to do throughout the year to really uh, try to have a positive impact on the community. And the thing we want to remember, too, and remind our members of is all of this is possible because it's fueled by member activity. By yep. And you know, we've got that, we do a penny to the foundation every time members use their debit or credit, credit card. card. Yes. And that's $300,000 yep. a year that we're able that to put had, back in the community. That's where part of this money came yeah. from. Yeah. What I think is neat as well, you know, we're a cooperative, so, yep. you know, we're working with our member owners to be able to fund things like this. Yep. But what we're doing is trying to ha have it mean more, have that ripple effect. Right. We yeah. take that money in because of the interactions and, and the, the usage that uh, the members have um, with us and then be able to work with our partners to make an even greater uh, impact on the whole area. Yeah. So it's a it's pretty neat event and it's uh, the impact we're making is is phenomenal. It is. 
And now's probably the time to you know pull out that that coastal value that share generously. Yes, yeah. share really generously is one of our values. Way as better well. than me sharing a cup of coffee with you guys. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it's always great to celebrate all the things that we're doing out in the community, yeah. but we've got some internal things to celebrate too, um, helping our members in a lot of different ways. <laughs> yeah. and really thanks in particular to our members. Uh, in May, our mortgage division set a record of $60 million in mortgages originated. It's the most we've ever originated in a month. And uh, we are ranked in the top four uh, one of the top four mortgage lenders by volume in, in this market out of probably over 500 mortgage lenders. And so the feedback we get from members who uh, get a mortgage with us is pretty, pretty incredible. And I can't say enough for the team uh, that we have in that division working with members every day to get mortgages done. But uh, it's a great time uh, to be buying a home. Uh, the market's pretty hot right now and uh, a lot of construction. Uh, we, we also do construction lending. We've been at that for uh, now a couple years. So members that uh, may want to have a custom home built by home builder, can uh, we can do those as well. The other milestone was our wealth management division. Of course, we have financial advisors who work with members on everything from retirement plans to helping them invest their retirement funds and other uh, other kinds of uh, investments. And we just passed the $500 million mark in total funds that our advisors are managing for our members. And I'm one of their clients and uh, they do a phenomenal job. And you know, I meet with them quarterly to uh, talk about ideas and understand uh, how they're investing uh, my retirement funds and how that's being managed. So uh, pretty exciting time for both of those groups. and. Uh, if you need a mortgage, come see us. If you want some help managing your retirement funds, we're here to help. Okay. I know both of those teams are doing a lot of good things. Uh, yeah. You know, not just helping members on a day-to-day -day basis, but we'll provide a lot of educational yeah. opportunities. I know we do first-time homebuyer seminars. Wealth Management does a whole bunch of different seminars. Of retirement of seminars, topics. yep. So uh, a lot of great ways yeah. to just help our members and give back. Um, and what I always like to make note of is those are two areas that members weren't always aware that we right. did. Um, right. Yeah, you know, we're telling them, hey, don't come to us for a mortgage. Think of us first for right. your retirement planning. Yep. And now clearly they are. Yeah. We are top of mind for members for those things, and we just encourage them yep. to keep, you know, tell your friends, tell your family. Exactly. You know, Both of those businesses are growing pretty rapidly. So that's yeah. pretty good. Hey, it goes with what we want to do. We want to be there for all of our members whenever they have. Uh, a, a big moment in their life mm -hmm. yeah. and buying a home and then saving for retirement are two of the biggest things that they can do in their financial life and you know we really want to provide a better way to bank and I yeah. think that it's showing that it's it's making an impact our yeah. members are seeing that and they're coming more and more often yeah so it gets into a lot of that you know that uh, lifestyle planning goal setting I know your team's been working heavily on putting together a lot of things for members as they're doing different phases of their yeah. life um, so it's been really strong and I think the more we do that the, the more we'll have to offer. Yep. Yeah. Um, and what, what I think is neat as well, I, I got a mortgage recently and I applied for one type of mortgage and then they worked with me to, to realize that really a 10-1 arm was a better opportunity for me. So that's another thing yep. that, that I think you'll see as a difference uh, in how we do business is we yep. really want to make the, the best uh, loan for the member as possible, not you know anything that, that benefits Coastal more than that. Yeah, who stays in a home for 30 years now? Yeah. That makes a big difference yeah. now, <laughs> especially in this area. People right. move around a lot in, in yeah. this area. So 30-year mortgage may not be the, the best opportunity for everybody. So that's about all the time we have for this episode. Uh, any final thoughts? For me, I think it's just be confident that uh, you bank with uh, a company that cares about you and the community. And we're doing everything we can to make sure we support that. Yeah. I'm going to go into one of our other sponsorships really quick and give a shout out to all of the ladies who are playing in the World Cup right now. Mm -hmm. um, Carolina, North Carolina Courage has seven players on four different teams all competing this summer. So um, hopefully one of them will take home, uh, take home the trophy. Yeah. yeah, that'd be exciting. And you'll be able to possibly see them in uh, person later on. We'll tease that a little bit for uh, a video down the line. Exactly. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.